Doctors continue to search for new therapies to treat coronavirus, but finding a cure for this deadly illness is no easy task. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez with a look at the medications doctors are now turning to. This happens every time a new pathogen pops up, and new ones will continue to pop up. When there's no known treatment for a new germ, the understandable reaction is to throw the medical version of the kitchen sink at it, even if there's little scientific reason to believe that it might actually work. But when people are dying, a Hail Mary seems understandable. One of the first was the hydrochloroquine and azithromycin combination, a malaria drug and an antibiotic, neither of which should have been effective, but they might be. There are also a number of drugs in various stages of testing for other conditions that are now being proposed against corona. Maybe one of those will help. And now we're hearing of ivermectin, a veterinary anti-parasite drug that also seems to kill coronavirus in vitro. The problem is that there are dozens of drugs that kill viruses in a test tube or petri dish. HIV is a prime example. I reported on so many drugs over the years that killed that deadly virus in vitro but failed miserably when used in humans. Now, this doesn't mean that we should stop trying. Medicine is full of examples of miracle drugs that no one thought should work, and they're now the standard of care. Let's hope this happens with corona. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. If you have questions for Dr. Max about the coronavirus, you can post them on our website, cbsnewyork.com slash max.